Well, howdy everybody. So what I'm going to show you today is just uh, working with columns, how to balance a column in Word. It's a pretty simple process, but some people get uh, tripped up on it. So you notice this document here, it's got a nice cover page. Everything is broken out into two columns. And you notice at the end, the columns are pretty much balanced out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, just a Word document here. What you're going to want to do is click on the layout tab and then put your cursor at the word in front of the word purpose in this example it's in front of the word purpose so this is actually going to be a header and then this is going to start our text or the body of the the text so put your cursor at the beginning of that you're going to go to breaks and you want to insert a continuous break and then once that is done you notice it shifted it down a little bit you're going to want to do a column so you can either click here and choose two columns or you can go to more columns and click that and you can select two columns here you can add a <clears throat> excuse me you can add a line in between or you cannot so I'm gonna choose to put a line in between to make it a little bit different than our example so I'm doing two columns with a line in between and we'll click OK and hey magically we've got two columns but you notice that they're not balanced you can see that this column is higher than ending higher than this one so what you want to do is go to the very end of the text in that column and you're going to select breaks and continuous and then you notice it balances out that column so now this column ends roughly where this column ends so that is balancing a column out in word and creating uh, two columns with continuous breaks